and how we can give the interoperability anesthesia. In this technique, we advance the needle in the interoperability area and advance it a little bit till we reach the other side without penetrating it. And we should provide a few drops of local anesthesia on the mesial and on the distal. Okay. The key rule is that we should we can see blanching of the gum after we provide the intrabibillary anesthesia. After doing the intrabibillary mesial and distal, we can add a little small few drops on the area directly. This will provide anesthesia for bilateral mucosa without hurting the patient uh, anymore.